Hi, in this uh, second part of the uh, video I'll try and talk to you and show you about the software itself. There's not an awful lot I can show you about it, it's very difficult to do holding the iPad but I'll, I'll do my best and show you. Uh, but basically I went into um, the um, shop where I live that sells lots of embroidery machines and I was saying that I was having a problem with this metallic uh, thread. And the advice that he gave me, I mean, <laughs> I think he thought I was some sort of Philistine. <laughs> um, basically, that you have got a setting within the software that you can choose, you can actually choose to use a metallic thread. And also, I didn't realise, that you can actually choose needles specially for metallics. So, with using these two together and choosing it within the software, you get a lot better results and it doesn't break. So, that's also um, a little tip for you. He also asked me what I was using to thread my uh, bobbin. Um, and I said, just ordinary thread. But no, he said, the best thing to do is get this bobbin fill. And apparently, it's, uh, it's finer than your ordinary um, bobbin, uh, your ordinary thread, embroidery thread. So uh, if that can help you, um, it certainly helped me uh, get a, a nicer design, um, hopefully it will help you. So the next part of the video I'll just show you the machine working and then I'll, I'll try and show you just a little bit of the software. Okay then, join my next bit of the video then. Bye for now. Right, this is the design that I've just done using the software. And at the moment, I'll just show you that this is how it is working. If you can actually hear me over the noise. I won't keep this on all the time while it's doing. Now you see there, this is what it will do. And that's a colour change or onto the next letter. start again so I'll actually go through the software and uh, give you some idea of how it works okay then join me next bit of the video bye for now another little design I've showed you the machine actually working uh, and it's quite a good little machine actually quite pleased with it now this is the software the 3d uh, program that we're using now um, it's a very old software um, and it's probably, well, I think this is 3D, I think it goes up to 7, 7D now which is, uh, is so you can see how old this software is. But if you can get hold of this, um, like I say on eBay, uh, then it's well worth it. Using an old dinosaur uh, laptop that we've had in the attic for ages. And I'll just give you a quick... I'll try and give you a quick demo here. Um, it's very difficult to look through the iPad and hold this. Right, I'll go along the top toolbar here. Um, it's only going to be a quick flick through because the iPad gets pretty heavy. Right, now that there, here, that is there where you will find all the um, images that are incorporated in the in the uh, software. So if we just, I'm going to do this quite. Clear. So you have to excuse me here. Right. So let's click on there. Let's go on some designs, and I'm just going to see. There's some of the designs there, and that frame, this frame there, is that frame there. Right, so if I wanted that, let's just click on it. Hang on a minute. Where's my mouse with the gun? So let's just click on it. Right, okay. So now that's come up onto the screen. So you can see that. Right, so if you wanted to do some writing, if you wanted to do it, make some fonts, you have to go down here and you can see 
your letters there. So, hang on a second, I'm getting cramp in my hand. So this is all your toolbar here for your fonts. And you'll see, hang on a second, let me just move this. And you'll see here, this is all your fonts. This is just sort of like the system fonts, you get about three. Uh, these, this my font here is what you've actually download, downloaded, and from here, is it the wizard or something? So that's well, that will come up there, and basically, what this is is all the fonts that are actually on your computer. So you get all them that you can play with, so you can apply it. So. I've already got that, so I could probably say that we're already done. So we're going to next, and this is where you can. Sorry, but my hand's getting achy. So this is where you can actually um, apply what colour cotton you want to use, or, or thread, uh, what type of thread. Let's see if I can go into thread there. So that's your thread. And you actually choose from this bar here. I'm using Gutterman, and it gives you all kinds of different threads and different colours. So that's that. And then that will come up. So then you can write to your heart's content. And then you apply it. But as you can see, it is very, very difficult for me to actually show you this. So this is the reason why I'm kind of showing you uh, the basics uh, of this. Uh, when you come to apply it, you have to go into design. So if you wanted to type whatever you wanted to do, you have to go into design. And then to get it to actually send to your machine, you go up to this font here, this image here, and you click send and that's when it will come up with that. Now if you want a quick send that'll automatically just go into uh, into uh, the embroidery do your design but the send to the machine is when you just want it to obviously go into your memory and so if you wanted to use the design over and over again so that's that. Now <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else that I can actually um, help you with this software. It's a matter of you, hopefully if you've got the book, that you can um, have a read of it and play around with it. But that should get you started for now. Um, so if there's anything else that I can actually help you with, then just give me, you know, message me and uh, see if I can help you with that. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and uh, bye for now.